welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about uh, the multiple choice question and answer from the subject uh, discrete time signal processing and uh, digital signal processing okay so in this video so we are going to discuss about the topic uh, signal processing or the basics of dsp we are going to see okay so we will see the first question which of the following is done to convert a continuous time signal into discrete time signal or uh, modulating sampling differentiating integrating so which of the following in order to convert the continuous time signal x of t into discrete signal x of n we have to use the process it is called as a sampling so sampling already you know sampling it's a process of converting the continuous time signal x of t into discrete time signal x of n so sampling is the correct answer then the next one the process of converting discrete time continuous valued signal into discrete time discrete valued signal is known as dash so the discrete time continuous valued signal it is called as uh, that is x of n so x of n that is the discrete signal into digital signal so what is the process used for converting the discrete time signals into discrete time discrete valued signal it is called as a quantization so the quantization it's a process of converting that is a uh, each sample value is a uh, the each sample value it is uh, uh, converted into the digital signal zeros and ones it is called as the quantization okay the next one the difference between the unquantized x of n and the quantized x q of n is known as dash so the difference between the quantized output and quantized input the difference between x q of n and x of n it is known as quantization coefficient quantization ratio quantization factor quantization error quantization error so the difference between the x q of n that is quantized output and unquantized input so the difference between these two signal it is called as the quantization error okay the next one the relation between analog frequency omega and digital frequency this omega is dash so what is the relation between the analog frequency you know uh, generally we are using for frequency we are using this term w okay this omega but there is a differentiation is there in analog and uh, digital so always the analog frequency is mentioned by this ohm symbol the digital frequency is represented by this omega okay this w omega so what is the relation between the analog frequency and digital frequency means so here the analog frequency equal to digital frequency into t where t is a sampling period or uh, digital frequency equal to analog into t no relation none of the mention so the b is the answer the digital frequency omega which is equal to the analog frequency multiplied with the sampling period this is no this is the relation between analog and digital frequency okay uh, then the next one what is the output signal when a signal x of t equal to cos 2 pi 40t is sampled with a sampling frequency of 20 hertz okay so here uh, what is the question means uh, the question is that what is the discrete signal obtained after a process sampling so in a sampling process uh, we this is the sampler you just consider for the sampler we are applying the continuous signal this x of t this x of t is applied as a input to this sampler so sampling process you know the sampling process means it's a process of converting the continuous time signals into the discrete signal x of n it is called as a sampling so here question is that what is the output signal of this sampler when the input is this one with the sampling frequency is 20 hertz so already we studied this question in signals and system also in a sampling process okay so what is the procedure means in order to convert the continuous time signal x of t into the discrete signal x of n you just replace this continuous variable t okay so you see this t this small t is a continuous variable this continuous variable t you just replace it with n divided by fs 
where n is the discrete uh, time variable and fs is the sampling frequency so in a given x of t equation you just replace this uh, continuous variable t by n divided by fs means we will get the discrete signal so you see here x of t equal to cos 2 pi 40t so you just substitute 2 pi 40 into t so instead of t you just substitute n divided by fs so what is the fs the sampling frequency is given as 20 hertz so you just replace cos 2 pi 40 into n divided by 20 so if you are cancelling uh, we will get uh, the answer as x of n equal to cos 4 pi n so here the cos 4 pi n answer c this c is the correct answer okay so in order to convert the continuous signal into discrete signal you just replace t with n divided by fs where fs is the sampling frequency okay that's all the next one if f is the frequency of analog signal then what is the minimum sampling rate required to avoid aliasing so in a sampling uh, you know uh, if the sampling frequency is not selected properly means we will get a one error it is called as the aliasing okay so the overlapping of the adjacent spectrum it is called as aliasing so in order to avoid aliasing we have to follow the sampling theorem in a proper manner okay so that is the sampling frequency fs it should be greater than or equal to twice the fm so here if f is the frequency of analog signal means what is the minimum sampling rate in order to avoid the aliasing it is 2 into f okay at least we have to select the sampling rate twice the frequency of our analog signal so 2 into f so according to the nyquist rate to avoid aliasing the sampling frequency should be equal to twice the analog frequency okay so 2 into f this is the correct thing then the next one what is the nyquist rate of the signal x of t equal to 3 cos 50 pi t plus 10 sin 300 pi t minus cos 100 pi t so nyquist rate what is mean by nyquist rate means the minimum sampling rate used to sample the particular signal it is called as the nyquist rate so already you know the nyquist rate uh, f is equal to 2 into fm okay so in a sampling frequency the minimum sampling frequency it is called as the nyquist rate so nyquist rate fs fs equal to tw twice the frequency of the message signal so here you see the x of t consisting of uh, addition and subtraction of three signal so one cosine signal of some frequency this is one sine signal this is one cosine signal so in this three signal so uh, the nyquist rate okay the nyquist rate is calculated by twice the fm where fm is the maximum frequency of the given signal so here x of t or uh, signal consisting of three different frequency component so out of this three frequency component which one is the highest frequency we have to find out that frequency multiplied by 2 it is said to be the nyquist rate okay so here Uh, if you are comparing the first signal the 3 cos 50 pi t with the standard cosine signal you know what is the standard cosine waveform a cos 2 pi ft so if you are comparing we will get the frequency f is equal to f1 is equal to 25 hertz similarly if you are comparing the second signal the frequency of the second signal is 150 hertz for the third signal cos 100 pi t the frequency is 50 hertz so out of this three frequency so we how to measure the maximum we have to uh, uh, take the maximum value so the maximum value of 25 hertz 150 hertz 50 hertz is the maximum value is 150 so f max is equal to 150 so according to the sampling theorem so the nyquist rate what is meant by nyquist rate nyquist rate is equal to twice the maximum value of frequency so 2 into f max so what is f max 150 so 2 into 150 300 hertz okay so the nyquist rate for the given signal is 300 hertz this is the answer then similarly you see the next question what is the discrete time signal obtained after sampling the analog signal x of t equal to cos 2000 pi t plus sin 5000 pi t at a sampling rate of 5000 samples per second okay 
So these are the four answers given. So which one is the correct answer? We have to find out. Okay. So uh, from the uh, given thing, the analog signal consisting of two frequency component. So the first frequency, the frequency of the first signal, it is that cos 2000 pi t. So cos 2000 pi t means if you are comparing it with cos 2 pi f t, the frequency f is 1000. Okay, so the frequency of the first signal is f1 equal to 1000 hertz. Similarly, the frequency of the second component is 2500 hertz. Okay, so here the sampling rate is given as 5000 samples per second. So this 5000 is nothing but FS, okay? Sampling rate FS is 5000 is given. So what is the question means? What is the discrete time signal we have to obtain? So in order to convert uh, uh, that uh, signal, continuous time signal into discrete signal, so already I discussed, instead of uh, this T, okay, the continuous variable T, wherever the T is available, you just replace that T by N divided by FS, okay? So here cos, 2000 pi into n divided by 5000. Okay, uh, so we will get a cos uh, 0 0.4 pi n. Similarly, plus sine 5000 pi t divided by 5000. So 5000, 5000 cancel, so sine pi n. So the x of n signal is cos 0 0.4 pi n plus sine pi n. So b is the correct answer. Okay, the same question only. You just replace the time variable t by n divided by the sampling rate, 5000. So we will get the answer, okay. Uh, then the next question, the quality of output signal from A to D converter is measured in, term, in terms of dash. The quality of output signal from A to D converter, A to D converter means, you know, analog to digital converter, is measured in terms of dash. Quantization error, quantization to uh, signal noise ratio, signal to quantization noise ratio, conversion constant, signal to quantization noise ratio. The quality of output signal from A to D converter is measured by signal to quantization noise ratio. Okay, then the next one, if the signal to be analyzed is an analog signal, we would pass it through an anti-aliasing filter with a B as the bandwidth of the filtered signal. Then the signal is sampled at a rate dash. Okay, so the signal, the filtered signal is sampled at a rate of Fs is greater than or equal to two into B, where B is the bandwidth of the filtered signal in order to avoid the aliasing. Okay, so that's why, so the answer is, the sampling frequency Fs, it should be greater than or equal to twice the bandwidth of the input signal. Then the next one, what is the highest frequency that is contained in the sampled signal? So what is the highest frequency that is contained in the sampled signal? After sampling, we will get the discrete signal, you know. So what is the highest frequency available in the sampled signal? Means it is Fs divided by two. The sampling frequency divided by two. This is the highest frequency uh, available in the sampled signal. Okay. Uh, then the next one, if X of N is the signal to be analyzed, limiting the duration of the sequence to L sample in the interval zero to L minus one is equivalent to multiplying the X of N by dash. Okay. That is a, a X of N, the signal, the X of N is the signal to be analyzed. So if you want to limit the duration of this sequence by L sample means, that is equivalent to multiplying this X of N by Kaiser window, Hamming window, Hanning window, rectangular window, rectangular window, okay. So already you know the rectangular window, rectangular window means the window is having the magnitude one for the n value between 0 to l minus 1. So if you are multiplying one uh, infinite duration sequence of or any duration sequence with this windowing sequence, we will get only the sequence is having the length 0 to l minus 1, that is l samples only available. So in order to convert uh, the infinite samples into 
the finite sample sequence you just multiply it with the rectangular window okay the next question which of the following is common independent variable for speed signal eeg and ecg signal so which one is a common independent variable so time the time is the common independent variable uh, in speed signal eeg signal and ecg signal okay uh, the next one which of the following conditions made digital signal processing more advantages over analog processing so nowadays we are using all signal processing is done in digital manner only okay so what are all the advantages of this digital signal processing over analog processing flexibility accuracy storage all of the mention all of the mention okay so flexibility accuracy storage all thing is simple in digital signal processing when compared to analog signal processing okay so these are all the advantages why we are moving to digital signal processing over this analog okay the next one what are the important blocks required to process an input analog signal to get an output analog signal okay so uh, that is a uh, in one communication system in one dsp processing uh, the input is analog uh, the analog signal is processed uh, by so many blocks and uh, finally you just get analog signal as output so what are all the important blocks uh, available in the uh, duration of that process a to d converter digital signal processor d to a converter all of the mention all of the mention okay so first one the analog signal Uh, that is uh, all our uh, practical signals uh, so most of the signals uh, available in nature are analog signal okay so that is our in input signal so first that uh, analog signal must be converted into digital using a to d converter okay so first we have to give it to a to d converter so the output of a to d converter is in digital format so this digital signal is given to the dsp processor digital signal processor so after uh, processing uh, this digital signal again we have to convert into analog so in order to uh, receive the signal uh, using some loudspeaker or uh, something so again this digital signal we have to convert into analog using dac d to a converter okay so a to d converter digital signal processor d to a converter so all these blocks are important block in order to process analog signal to get output analog signal okay the next one uh, which of the following block is not required in digital processing of radar signal okay the digital processing of radar signal what are all the uh, block is not required a to d converter d to a converter dsp all of the mention d to a converter digital to analog converter is not required in radar signal processing uh, why means in digital processing of radar signal the information extracted from the radar signal such as position of aircraft uh, these things are printed on a paper so there is a no need of d to a converter in this case okay uh, the next one which of the following wave is known as amplitude modulated wave okay so in communication we studied the modulation it is called as a amplitude modulation so what is the amplitude modulated wave of x of t c into x of t where c is a constant it's a multiplication of one constant into x of t x of t plus y of t x of t into y of t d x of t divided by dt x of t into y of t where x of t is the uh, signal y of t is the carrier signal so the multiplication of uh, audio signal and the carrier signal it is called as the amplitude modulated waveform the next one what is the physical device that performs an operation on the signal signal source system medium none of the mentioned so what is the physical device that performs operations on the signal uh, that is a amplification attenuation uh, signal generation so what is a physical device means it's a system so the system for the system we are giving some input we are getting some processed output so in order to process the signal 
we need the physical device it is called as a system okay then the next one the interface between an analog signal and digital processor is dash okay so the analog signal uh, the analog signal is not given directly to digital processor since the digital processor only process the digital signal so in order to convert the analog to digital we need a to d converter so the interface between analog signal and digital processor is a to d converter okay the next one the speech signal is obtained after analog to digital conversion digital to analog conversion modulation quantization digital to analog conversion so after processing the speech signal again in receiving side in order to convert uh, the uh, digital speech into analog we have to use one more conversion it is called as a digital to analog conversion the next one the telegraph signals are examples of digital signal analog signal impulse signal pulse train the telegraph signals are example for digital signals okay the next one as compared to analog system the digital processing of signal allow programmable operation flexibility in the system design cheaper system more reliability okay so when compared to analog the digital processing of signal allow which one so 1 2 3 is a correct uh 1 uh 2 are correct 1 2 4 are correct all the four are correct okay so all the four are correct why we are uh, moving for digital processing when compared to analog means the uh, programmable operation flexibility in the system design cheaper and more reliability okay the next one the nyquist theorem for sampling is which relates the condition in time domain and frequency domain helps in quantization limits the bandwidth requirement gives the spectrum of signal okay so in this which one 1 2 3 correct 1 2 3 1 2 correct 1 and 3 correct all are, all the four are correct okay 1 and 3 is a correct that is the nyquist theorem for sampling which relates the condition in time domain and frequency domain and also it limits uh, the bandwidth requirement okay the next one the role of factor is dash role of factor the bandwidth occupied beyond the nyquist bandwidth of the filter performance of the filter aliasing effect none of the above the role of factor is nothing but the bandwidth occupied beyond the nyquist bandwidth of the filter okay that is nothing but role of factor uh, then the next question a discrete time signal may be samples of continuous time signal a time series which is a uh, a domain of integer time series of uh, sequence of quantity amplitude modulated wave okay so a discrete time signal discrete time signal it may be a sample of continuous signal correct okay discrete signal is nothing but sample of continuous time a time series which is a domain of integer it's also correct the time series of sequence of quantity is correct amplitude modulated wave it's not a correct so 1 2 3 is the correct answer okay so these are all the some of the questions uh, we discussed about uh, uh, the basics of dsp and the process uh, sampling and uh, related with sampling what is uh, nyquist rate what is the nyquist uh, uh, theorem and so on okay a to d converter d to a converter and what are all the blocks uh, involved uh, within the a uh, dsp processor okay so we will discuss so in the next video so we will meet with uh, uh, the next topic okay so thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe my channel for more videos in the next video we will meet thank you